Oh, Phil, I think this chop has really turned those fish on. This is amazing. Blue fish, I think sea bass, I think. Oh, it's a good fish. What do you got? I don't know. It's a sea bass and a good oh, yeah, one. Oh, yeah, that's a good one. Yep. Oh, yeah. It's a good one. There we go. There's nice. a nice sea bass right there. Dandy. Oh, there we go. Good hook set too, right up the snout of that fish. Dandy hook set. Beauty. This is phenomenal, eh, Phil? Absolutely fantastic. fantastic. All we need now, I said striper would make our day. Actually, I like a nice fluke. Maybe we should target them. I think we should. Put the viper spoon on, maybe? I don't know. We'll see how it goes. Hey, Phil, I thought I'd put a viper spoon on just to see what's going on down there. <laughs> and it was in two minutes. I put some squid on that viper spoon and whammo. I've got one. I've you got, got one too? too? Yep. I just got a sea bass. He took a whole squid. Could you imagine that oh. little that little sea bass took a whole squid? I just lost mine. Did you? They're gonna sw switch to a viper spoon. Sure. Why not? Okay, I'm gonna put another squid on this viper spoon. Show you how I rig it through the tail part first, take a look up the belly, and then one more time up the top end, just like that. And what I've got, I've got a T-turn, the Thunder Mist T-turn three-way swivel right there. And I'm going down about three feet to a sinker. And this Viper Spoon is just gonna flash and flutter and if there's a fluke in the neighborhood, he's going to be all over it, although I just picked up a, a sea bass. But really, I'm trying to get a fluke just to make our day complete here. So I'm going to drop this back down. And that T-turn swivel is great because it allows you to fish tangle free. You know, I could swing this right around, it's not a problem. So once I put this down there, that's just going to settle nicely. That viper spoon is going to flash and flutter. And away we go, I've got no risk of tangling. Phil, yep. I just dropped that line down with the whole squid. What do you got? I don't know, but it feels pretty good. Oh, it's another sea bass. Sea bass. I was hoping for a fluke. Okay. Another sea bass. Well, I still got my squid by the looks of it. But I just put it down. It wasn't down there for two minutes. Good one, Phil. Feels pretty good. Okay, on my way with the net. Oh, jumping around all this tackle. I got a viper spoon on with the whole squid. The whole squid again? Oh, it's a, it's a fluke. Oh, it's a nice fluke. That's what we said we wanted, I don't right? I think there. he's going to measure. There we go. Nice fluke. Viper spoon fluke. Beautiful. Exactly what we said we wanted. Put yep. the squid on. Not the size we wanted, but. And catch a fluke. We'll have to measure him up. Real, oh, we'll definitely measure him. Real fast. They got to be 18 and a half. He looks. Looks short, but let's give him a quick measure just to see. Let's check him let's out, Phil. Zip. Oh, he's short. Eight, uh, 18 inches. He's 18 and maybe a smidgen. Yeah, back in he goes real he's quick. He's got to go back in. 18 and a half is the limit. I think he knows he's 18. Yeah. Catch and release. There he goes. Okay. Well, half inch too short. <laughs> we said put on some squid with a viper spoon and go get some fluke. That's all we needed to make our day complete. Well, let's give it a little longer out here and then uh, I think we're going to have to call it. Give it a few more minutes, sure. We'll give it a few more minutes. It's okay. been an awesome day, though. Sounds good.